All right, we got a propane conversion kit for a 6500 Honda generator. Here at the ranch, we would need a regulator. Part number, if you have a Honda 6500, SEK-T53-1A. Century fuel product. Parts, some mounting posts, a carburetor bracket or a adapter plate, a little valve, a couple fittings, We've got a 90, some bolts, looks like another regulator. Wow, those are some really nice instructions. I like that. Tells you where to mount it, where to drill holes. Here be the Honda 6500. The EB 6500. Not sure what that means. Older unit, got throttle control, there's the carburetor, air filter, and uh, making this run on propane, or dual fuel. Choke on this thing. Make sure it runs to begin with. I like the key, that's pretty cool. Staging area for all the parts here. The propane hose. Regulator fittings.
piece right there. Looks like it's machined out of a solid chunk of aluminum. Almost solid anyway. That might be a piece right there. That's pretty cool. So uh, this will be the adapter plate. Propane goes in there. It's got some it's a ported ring around the inside of that collar. Pretty cool. Got some stud extenders. Seems this thing leaks a little bit of gas if you leave the uh, pet cock open. Yeah, knock all the crusties off. Looking good, feeling good. So we're going to put it on like that, so the port is on the outside. Pretty snug fit over these posts. Gonna need too many wraps to sort of get that red stuff on there. Pipe sealant, thread sealant. Nice. Got the other gasket here. Doesn't really line up too well. It's got those big old holes for the uh, stud extenders. So it's kind of flopping around there. Let me hold that in place. Something like that. Clearances look good. Let's check this bottom mounting. That's not going to reach at all. So we lost that bottom mounting point. Could extend that, but it's pretty sturdy. Just enough room. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able, able to get that last nut in there. That's fine though, this is just a, a holder for the filter. I got uh, 
all these in. So now the question is if I can even get the front. Uh, it's starting to look pretty tight in here. Let's see. Oh, just barely. Oh no, it needs to come over more. Yeah, we got like a, a little bit of a gap or a issue on this side. Bring the hose back in. It still reaches just barely. That's good. Okay, yeah, let's uh, have to cut out that chunk of frame here. Could just notch that, but Not do this without draining the gas, so be careful. Not do as I do, I'm just showing you what I'm doing. Okay, they call this the power valve fitting. Just got to pin down the center of it. Uh, be best facing this direction. It's going to have to face this direction. bottom Get some 
Nuts and bolts. maybe um I guess it's really not necessary I can go right on there plenty of room Make sure those little tubes are for for this. Doesn't say. Just got my own nuts and bolts here. These are ridiculously long. They're not making sense. Shut up, valve on that. Hose tucked in a little bit.
facing to the side. Something like that I think will be best. Kind of feeling like I should brace at the bottom of this. Looks like they have some bolts here. That's good enough for, uh, for something that's just going to sit in one spot all the time. check for leaks here when we're all done. Now on this other end we got the regulator. And this will go into your propane tank. Ooh, looking almost finished here. Got a few more things. Generators vibrate pretty good, so you always gotta keep in mind things like to rattle loose. So I'm gonna put a couple drops of blue Loctite on these. Keep those nuts from rattling off. Uh, Loctite works a little better if you put it on the threads beforehand, but I wasn't thinking about it. Either way, this works too. If it cures, it cures. I'll keep the nuts from getting lost. Let's make sure it still runs on gasoline. Gasoline. Let's go ahead and shut this off. I'm gonna run it dry. I'm kind of curious how this is gonna work with the different RPMs. If this, I'm not sure if this regulates itself somehow, like maybe by suction. The more this sucks, the more this propane is. Uh, this low pressure valve or regulator opens. Because uh, if I have to adjust this for just a certain RPM, I'm not going to be able to use the throttle control. I guess we'll find out. Um, here is the big old tank that's going to be used. I think at some point they're going to get one of the, the massive ones that are affixed to the ground. But that's what we're working with today.
trying to hold something crazy here. than any metal I've ever cut before. It's like butter. So that's gonna be a tricky you know, be careful with this stuff. Use a little water if you have to. Okay, we're over here at the house where the generator is going to do all its work. Keeping the water heater going and the, and the refrigerator is going. Oil pump, lighting. Let's go ahead and run it out of gas. Get the pet cock turned off. Of this low pressure regulator will prime propane up into the uh, adapter adapter plate there don't want to do that too much just get the air out of the line and uh let's give it a try i don't know if you really need choke with propane oh yeah you might it's cold enough out
Wow, I was not expecting that to fire right up. I, I was thinking I need to do a little adjusting, but that is all good to go. That is actually pretty freaking awesome. I like it. Generator propane. The uh, coolest benefit about propane is that you could store it forever, unlike gasoline. So that is a pretty cool option. Let's go grab some soapy water, make sure everything is uh, good. All right, leak tester. Soapy water. It's like a good squirt of dish soap. Just plain old water. Squirt it on. Wait for any bubbles to show. Actually, probably won't have to worry about it from here out since it's just an open tube to atmosphere, so that's never really under any pressure, not too much anyway. But uh, you want to check at each joint, or at each seam, and look for bubbles. Looking pretty good. That is a cool kit. I am uh, kind of want to do, to do that to mine now. And the coolest thing is that you can shut the propane off and go right back to gasoline. Turn that off. Turn the gasoline back on. Let's give it a test. Let's give it a good test. See if we get the water heater to kick on. The house water heater. It's like 5,000 watts or something crazy. Okay, propane's on. Let's see if I can do it without priming it. I will just go. amazing pretty dang cool I like it okay it is cold now I'm gonna see if this will start without the choke on uh, propane do gotta prime it 